Olivia, welcome to The Ticket. We've just launched something very exciting. Do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Yes, thank you so much for having me. I'm very excited to share that we've just launched our latest AI breakthrough called Finn AI Copilot. So those of us who are familiar with our most recent AI launch, Finn AI Agent, this is sort of the next evolution of that. And this is specifically an AI bot for customer service agents. So now customer service agents can ask any question and get instant expert answers directly in the inbox. So we're really excited about um, how this is really going to improve Teams' overall efficiency. Can you share the inspiration behind the development of Finn AI Copilot and what specific challenges in customer service it aims to address? Yeah, of course. So obviously, we our technology is for customer service agents and delivering customer service experiences. And I think one really key data point that kept coming up was that we noticed agents were only spending like a quarter or a third of their time in the inbox, which doesn't really make any sense when obviously they should be spending most of their time there. So once we dug into it more, we realized that agents are just spending way too much time searching for answers to questions. You know, they're opening multiple tabs, looking across multiple sources, and it's taking them outside of the, the inbox, which ultimately takes them away from the customer. So the goal with this product is to really make sure that the agent can stay in the conversation to both provide the customer with a better experience, but of course, resolve all those queries as, as quickly as possible. Yeah, I know a bunch of support agents uh, on our team here are very, very excited about it. We've been beta testing it uh, before it went live and um, yeah, it's just been giving us incredible results. So very exciting times. Can you delve into the technology powering Thin AI Copilot, please? Specifically, how does it source answers from various internal and external platforms? And how does it ensure the relevance and accuracy of that information it's providing? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I won't claim to go into all of the nitty gritty details of how the AI works, but I do think what is very cool about the way Finn is generating answers for Copilot is that it's pulling from a lot more sources. So if you're again, you're familiar with Finn AI Agent, Finn is already pulling from public URLs, external help center articles, which help you answer customer questions. Um, but now Finn AI Copilot is also able to to internal sources. So that could be internal articles you're creating natively in Intercom, but it could also be syncing to third-party platforms like Guru, Confluence, and Notion. And I think the really the, the coolest part that we're really most excited about is that we're really the only AI co-pilot on the market right now that also generates answers from your team's past conversation history. Um, so if you are a customer service agent, you're probably know the fact that, you know, we, we call this a sort of untapped gold mine of data. Some of your best agents are answering really common questions every day and those answers really go nowhere. So now with an AI co-pilot, if you have a new agent that's coming on board or maybe just someone that hasn't been there as long, they can ask the question and Finn's generating those answers, also pulling from those previous that previous conversation history. It's so cool. It's absolutely incredible. There's been so many times over the years we've tried to run different projects where we try and figure out how to extract all that information that's being sent out to customers that we haven't been able to capture anywhere else. And now like any of that manual work is just not needing to happen anymore. It's absolutely amazing. So with Finn AI Copilot designed to improve agents' efficiency, how do you see it impacting the quality of the customer relationship and the overall experience? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Obviously, one of the most important things coming out of this are the efficiency gains for agents. But I think the more important thing to talk about is that, you know, the overarching goal is that it will improve overall customer experiences. So I think, you know, there's the obvious points of being able to resolve customer questions faster. But I think it's also just giving agents time back to spend more time on the more complex problems that really still need a human. So, you know, I think while if you're starting to use both FinAI Agent and FinAI Copilot together, you're really freeing up your agent's time to focus on those complex problems and really make sure that those customer experiences are consistent and, of course, like the, the best they could possibly be across the board. Absolutely. I just love that piece about agents not having to like jump from, you know, one conversation to the next, to the next, to the next constantly. They actually have this time and space now to really speak to a customer, really understand what they're trying to do. And give them that extra, like, you know, above and beyond that we've always wanted to be doing as a support team, but have never had the time for it. Exactly. And I think, you know, one of our beta testers has been able to share some really exciting results that, you know, they're already seeing a 31% increase in efficiency across their team. So, you know, the conversations we start to have with them, it's like, okay, well, you know, what could your team now do with a third of their time back, which is something that I feel like a lot of teams haven't had the time to even think about. So this is now giving them that opportunity to really build towards that future, which is very exciting. Yeah, it's brilliant. When I think about our own team and the big 
tail of things that we want to we want to do, but we're not able to take agents off our queues or haven't been able to take agents off our queues. And knowing now that we have that time and space to to do it, thanks to the efficiencies of thin AI agent and AI copilot, it's just really fantastic. Um, so how does Finn integrate into existing customer service workflows? Can you tell us a bit more about that? Like what adjustments do teams typically need to make to accommodate this new tool? Yeah, well, so I think, you know, the most important part about just making this is, is basically the fact that it's part of the overall intercom platform, right? So the short answer is like you really shouldn't have to do anything, especially if you're already an intercom existing user. It's not like you're adding on a different platform. It's built to be fully integrated into the intercom inbox and all of our other workflows. I think the one thing that, you know, definitely came up when we launched Finna Agent as well is that it definitely does present an opportunity for teams to think about improving and optimizing their support content. Obviously, Finn is pulling from whether, again, that's the internal content or your external content. What we've learned is that teams start to learn really quickly based off of the answers Finn is generating, whether there's potential gaps in their content or potential just opportunities to improve um, or optimize specific articles to make sure the answers are, are what they're looking for. Nice. I've heard so many folks tell me that Intercom's approach to AI first customer service is fascinating. Um, I've had people reaching out after various podcasts or webinars that we've done um, or, you know, when I'm speaking with our own customers. So beyond Copilot, can you outline the broader vision for AI in Intercom's ecosystem and how you anticipate customer service evolving in this space in the future? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think you you really sort of already alluded to what I think is the sort of banner of all of this, which is that we truly believe that customer service needs to be AI first. So that really means that, you know, the first interactions that your customers have with you will be AI. And that's okay because the AI is just now so strong and impactful that the first interaction for your customers, the expectation should be that it's with Fin AI agent. Um, the first interaction for agents now, expectation is now that it should be Fin AI co-pilot. And when we're actively working on and sort of what we call like the third pillar of this AI system model is AI analyst. So for leaders, you know, the first place they go to should also be AI powered insights to make sure that they're able to fully optimize their team's work and just make sure, again, they're, they're continuing to build towards improving the overall customer experience. Um, so we're really excited about this. I think you know, you'll probably heard a lot from our leaders about, you know, we're calling this the new way because we really do believe this is, you know, it's a mindset shift. I think we've all sort of felt how impactful this shift with AI has been and customer service has really just been the, I think, most obvious place that it's disrupted it in a really positive way. So Intercom is really all in on this AI first approach. You're going to be hearing a lot more from us on what that means. But yeah, I think in terms of, you know, what this means for your team, you know, now is the time to really think about how you're building this into your strategy. And of course, this doesn't happen overnight, but it does, of course, help when you're working with a platform that provides it all, which is the goal for Intercom. So, yeah, when I heard first about this AI analyst pillar, like so all my dreams were coming true. It's just fantastic to hear, to hear all about it. And I'm really excited to see all the things that we're going to do over the course of the next couple of years. So finally, for teams interested in adopting AI solutions like Fin AI Copilot, what advice would you give them to ensure a smooth integration? and how to maximize the benefits of AI in their customer service operations? Yeah, it's a great question. You know, I do think, again, first and foremost is making sure you're, you're building this into your overall system. So again, the big pro about using a Fin AI agent or Fin AI co-pilot is that it's, it's built into the core customer service platform of Intercom that, you know, also offers everything else your team needs, like inbox tickets, help center, et cetera. And then, yeah, I think just to call out again, the, I think that the content piece, I think the other really cool thing that we've started to see over the last year is that even the, the, the roles that exist within customer support teams have started to shift now that AI bots have entered the, entered the space. So things like conversation designers and people that are just more dedicated to making sure that, that those content optimizations can't happen. But again, I do think the most important piece is to just make sure, you know, you're strategically making the right decision on which platform to start with first. Because I do think, you know, as we were talking about the AI system model, like when we think about, when we think about um, you know, the AI analysts that we're planning to build, like there's very much a future where, you know, AI insights will help you deliver suggestions basically for what those content optimizations should be. You know, you want to just make sure that you're you're prepared for that future with a with a system that is is built to grow with you. Yeah, when I think about um, our message of AI first, if you had said AI first customer service to me a few years ago, 
I probably would have a really different reaction to how I have it today because before we didn't have the level of technology and functionality that's available to us right now, right? And now when I think about AI first, I'm actually really excited about it and pumped about it because it's really, really good. And the, you know, the bot experience is that if customers are interacting with, like, they're excellent now. They're not the bots of before, you know, and then when it comes to Fin AI Copilot and this new pillar that we're speaking about, analysts, all that stuff happening on the back end for teams to help them be more efficient and gain the insights that they need. Like, it's a very exciting time to be part of the customer service world. I could not agree more. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Olivia, for speaking with us today and all the best with the, the next couple of months and years in this AI space. Thanks so much. Thank you.